After making Georgia tight end Brock Bowers the first pick of the Pierce Telesco era, the Las Vegas Raiders had two chances to add more talent in rounds two and three, and the silver and black would go big or go home. The Las Vegas Raiders select guard Jackson Powers Johnson. In the second round, Las Vegas snags Oregon interior offensive lineman Jackson Powers Johnson. At 6'3", 328, the unquestioned top center or guard prospect of the draft, the first Pac-12 player to win the Remington Trophy for the nation's best center, not allowing a sack in 471 pass block opportunities last season. After re-signing center Andre James and signing guard Cody Whitehair, the Raiders add JPJ to help beef up the trenches, a lineman who has a burger named after him in Eugene. Growing up a Raiders fan, it's a dream come true in a full circle moment for the Utah native. Just kind of a wraparound full uh, circle moment. Grandparents are from uh, the Bay Area. They grew up huge Raiders fans. So my great grandparents and my grandparents grew up having season tickets for 20 years with the Raiders. 49ers Raiders, first ever NFL game really kind of started the dream for me. You know, getting to play at Allegiant Stadium. So definitely a special place for me there and I'm so excited to play there as many Sundays as I can. With the 77th pick in the third round, Telesco and Pierce double down on the smash mouth football mentality, adding another offensive lineman. At 6'4", 315, Maryland tackle Delmar Glaze helps to fill the void of right tackle Jermaine Illuminor, who left for the Giants in free agency. With three seasons of Big Ten starting experience on both sides of the line, Glaze is ready to get to work. The big thing is versatility. So, you know, being able to play multiple positions uh, is something that I feel helps, you know, I think those are some of the big things, you know, the football IQ and uh, the position flexibility. So the Raiders' first two picks of this draft are the unanimous top players at their position, Bowers at tight end and Powers Johnson at interior lineman. Adding playmakers and protectors was a priority for GM Tom Telesco in this draft. The flexibility is really nice for all these guys. And I know typically, you know, you're dressing eight offensive linemen. The more they can do, the better, because we know there's going to be injuries during the year. So there aren't very many people that are, have that type of size and, you know, football intelligence and work ethic and feet. They're just very, really hard to find. Raiders. <laughs> the NFL Draft picks back up for day three, starting on Saturday around 9 a.m. From Raiders HQ, I'm Nick Walters.